right so the other thing I wanted to show you I mean you can keep polishing this um, until you're quite happy I'm relatively happy with the way that looks the other thing you can play around with is um, I can you see that is copper patina now copper patina is actually made for copper but because there's a little bit of copper inside of um, pewter the copper patina pulls out the pewter and I'll show you what it does so I'm hoping this is still effective. It's been sitting in a container for four years. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so you want to take a little cotton bud. And I just want... Oh, yes, it's working. Perfect. Okay. So... A copper patina, again, it just adds a new dimension and another fun thing that you can do with your with your pewter so this won't work on aluminium again don't dip the part you've just used inside your um, inside your container use the other side because we don't want to contaminate our patina so there's so many options this is just absolutely my favorite thing in the world because of its versatility um, in in um, in some more videos, there's a whole heap of things I'm going to teach you. But one of the other things is how you can add color with various techniques. Just all sorts of different things you can use to add color to your metal. And so, if you're a purist, you don't really want to add any color to your um, pewter because because of the expense of it. And um, you know, it's it's really a luxurious kind of metal. But I mean, I'm happy to play with um, the aluminium sheets and, and just go crazy with colors and textures and all different sorts of things. So there we go. Okay, now the only thing is um, once you've done your copper patina, you're not going to polish it again because the polish will take it off. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can f fix those little blotchy bits. So that's the only thing with a copper patina is again <laughs> you don't have much control over what's going to happen so you can see the color is not super even but um, again is that really the most important thing in the world you know okay so there we have it. That is our pewter with black patina and pewter patina. And the very last thing you want to do with your pewter specifically, it's not as necessary to do it with um, the aluminium because it doesn't tarnish, but unfortunately the pewter tarnishes. And so once you've spent all that time and effort polishing it up to a nice shine, you don't want it to tarnish again. And so the last thing we do is you grab some newspaper get some clear lacquer spray so um, any clear varnish spray works really well I normally use satin you can go for gloss or matte or whatever I just normally go for satin These, it's just my preference but again oh sorry I'm making a noise I'm just shaking it up with you okay and you just give it a quick spritz and that's it so once this is dry we're done i really hope you enjoyed this process i'll be back in another video um, just to discuss some tips and techniques with the actual designs on the um the design block so but for now this is pewter this is how you do patina and how you add copper patina so have fun and play